Hello everyone, we'll see how to create a Google form with the random questions from the question bank. So first I'll uh, create the Google form. So Google form uh, name I'll give as the random question form. Okay, random question from question mark. So I will take only one uh, input that is name. So the questions I will uh, take from the uh, question bank. Okay. So I'll create the response sheet. Okay. So I'll create one more sheet. The name for that uh, sheet is question bank. Next, I'll add some question into this. Copy paste here. So before that, I'll uh, add one add-on. For that under tool, you can search for add-on. That is a form builder. So I have already installed it. Okay. So questions I'll add okay so I have total 16 question I'll use this add-on so form builder add-on is used now you using this add-on I can generate the questions okay so the question bank this is the for sheet in this sheet uh, sheet we have the questions so we have to select that then uh, select option like a question or question and answer or a quiz so three options are there I want only question so I'll select only question get so it will show all the questions and uh, if i use like a choose and uh, create i have to choose the form already what i have created so next import so it will fit uh, uh, feed these uh, questions into that form okay um okay now instead of this now it is uh, putting all the question into the form instead of that i want only set of question in the google form so for that i'll create a one random function okay so use the random function it will generate one random number so uh, i'll click and drag that so different uh, random values will be generated now depending on this random numbers i'll give the rank for this random number so i have to use the function rank okay so for the first number uh, in the set of uh, this random number okay i have to put this dollar sign because i don't want to change the range okay i'll use this uh, uh, drag i'll drag this uh, function down so uh, when i'm dragging it will change that's why i have to fix that range okay so i'll use the dollar sign next i want like if it is the higher value then it should display one digit number okay so drag this now we got the integer numbers depending on the random value i'll create one more uh, sheet the one more sheet is to select uh, only the first uh, two question or three question from this uh, depending on the rank of that question bank so I want only three questions. So in the rank by using a VLOOKUP function, I'll find, I want to find uh, where we are getting one in the question bank. Okay, so I'll go back to this. I want to find in the rank where there is one. And if I find one, so next column, next column we have the question. So that question I want to, uh, feed into the next sheet. So 
again here i want a fixed range so i'll use this dollar sign okay yeah uh, next i want the out of these two columns out of these two columns i want the second one so i'll put here two okay comma Now you can see here the one question is loaded. Okay, I added one more column that is to display true or false. Uh, I'll explain that later. Uh, next, the questions uh, options like option one, option two, option three. Uh, this is required if I am using that question and answer. Okay and the c column c i have put that true that is to tell that uh, whether that question is compulsory or not okay so true means it is compulsory false means it is not compulsory now again i am using this uh, form okay sorry form builder in the form builder in i have to select the question and answer and uh, the question and answer the question at a column b next uh, type of uh, column means if it is required or not type of uh, column that is there in c and the uh, other thing like option uh, starting uh, d to d e f g okay so if i click on get it will take all the values and it will show what is the questions okay you can see here yeah these are my question there is a three questions and the next is uh, i can feed this three question into the google form so for that i have to choose this uh, form okay this is my form i have to choose this now click on this input selected okay under that we have one more option that is overwrite form uh, uh, content so i have not if, if i overwrite it it will change the full form first i will show by without using this okay now i have not used this so import selected is done after clicking on import selected we can see the form okay in the form uh, yeah here so form the first one is name the next three questions is added okay now if i use this import uh, from sorry overwrite from uh, content and uh, I click on import uh, then it will overwrite on the first question also okay so uh, i don't want to like the, i want the name so what i'll do is i'll insert one row here okay insert one row above the question and the first question is the name okay and uh, again we have to open this uh, form builder and select the sheet and select the range everything we have to do from the beginning if i do any changes in the google sheet okay yeah now we can see the form so i am using that override the first question is name 